The WPS500 pressure transducer now looking at intake manifold pressure for turbocharged vehicles. So let's run the animation and discuss how we connect the pressure transducer and the kind of things we're looking at with this style of vehicle. So here we have a four cylinder engine turbocharged and of course WPS pressure transducer is going to be fitted into the intake manifold to measure negative pressure atmospheric and then of course positive pressure as the turbo boost increases. So we switch on pressure transducer, make sure that the test port is open to atmosphere because the device is calibrating and for this test we're going to use range 2. We ta tap into the intake manifold there and then looking at a good vehicle we are wide open throttle and then of course as the turbo speed increases so does the pressure and there we see a peak above atmospheric pressure. So there we have a good vehicle. Now let's look at an animation for a problem vehicle. And here we have a leaking intercooler hose, you can see it there, highlighted. And of course as we increase engine speed, we do try and achieve, or we manage to achieve a slight positive pressure, but certainly not what we've seen on a previous test. Now this varies from vehicle to vehicle, some vehicles may not allow you to achieve peak boost pressure in the intake manifold during, crank, uh, during engine idle, so it may be that you've actually got to uh, drive the vehicle on the road. Let's take a look at the waveform. Here we have the intake manifold pressure waveform for the turbocharged engine. So we had a turbocharger with a leaking intercooler hose. So we could not achieve peak boost pressure uh, at idle stationary vehicle. So from left to right here we have manifold pressure at minus 546 millibar. We then go to wide open throttle and of course we come up to atmospheric pressure. Now atmospheric pressure remains in the intake manifold for quite some time. If we look at the distance from this point here to before we start increasing above atmospheric, we've got uh, 500 milliseconds. Then we do achieve a little bit of boost pressure, but not what we saw on the good vehicle where we came up much higher, about 0.5 bar. Attaching the pressure transducer to the inlet manifold will allow you to capture turbocharger operation and performance across the entire engine speed and engine load range.